for season high for you, 37, but I want to go to the way that you were just attacking downhill from the tip off. You had a different mindset tonight. What was it? Uh, first place, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm still one of Dame lines. I seen Dame do it when he went for 70 the other night. He just, he had a good quote, you know, it was like, I made my mind up that I was going to keep attacking and I was going to stay aggressive throughout the whole game, no matter how they guarded me, no matter what was going on throughout the course of the game, I was going to stay aggressive at all times. And I did that, man. My teammates continue to encourage me, continue to push me to be who I know I can be every night. And this is a testament to it, but this is a team effort, man. We, we grinded this out. The obvious thing, the ball was going to get into the hands of Trey Young in that in that final possession for Atlanta. But talk about the defensive mentality that you five had on the floor to do anything and everything to scramble to make sure that you could at least contest. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was a bad defensively on the last play. Trey got two good looks at the basket, and we know that it was probably just an off night for him because he hits those, you know. So we got to be a lot better on that end. Uh, but you know, like you said, we scratched and clawed and rebounded late in the game and, and just found ways to be able to get us back in one and then two uh, to, to give us the lead. So, you know, it's a great team effort and it was definitely on the defensive end. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Mary. Wizards post game live. Down in Atlanta for the first time this season, the Washington Wizards trying to snap a two-game losing streak after coming back to the All-Star break a little sluggish. But tonight, the energy was in Washington's favor on offense and defense, doing everything in their power to stop Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks from taking this dub from D.C. Bradley Beal decides this is what he does. 37 points for Mr. Beal. Final score, 119 to 116. Wizards get the dub. Welcome into Post Game Live. Wes Hall along with Jason Smith will be joined by Chris Glenn and Megan in a moment. But Sticks, you first. You and I, we rode this roller coaster together. If it was a real one, both of our knees would have been rattling against the thing. Thank God it's not real. <laughs> However, I want your thoughts and assessment on this second half, especially that Washington put out on the court tonight. Bradley Beal. That's all you need to say right there. Bradley Beal got the party started, and he continued in that second half. 37 points in total. Kuzma got his offensive game going early and continued it the rest of the game with 28 points. Overall, the Washington Wizards, you were afraid that they were going to lose the offensive rebound battle. They won that. You were afraid they were going to lose the second chance points. They won that. The only problem they had was in transition, but guess what? They came out with the win, a big-time win in Atlanta, a team that they have been struggling with over the past couple years. But overall, they got the job done tonight need to have that momentum going into the next matchup Jason I know that we all get frustrated sometimes watching certain people enjoy the the, the leverage that they get on home court I'm trying to be nice here uh, Trey Young we know that Trey is going to be the focus of their offense it is what it is tonight he had 31 points but the ability down the stretch to not get caught in traps that Trey creates how important is it for us to have the perimeter defense that we needed well it's extremely difficult especially with Trey because he is such a good job of getting to the lane and getting contact getting to the free throw line and he has that uncanny ability to knock down the free throws but get the and one at the same time he gets the contact goes to the free throw line he had a great job tonight he didn't have the excessive help from the rest of his team DeJounte Murray only 15 points great job on the defensive end from mm -hmm. the Wizards against him but overall the Wizards they did a fantastic job of controlling the boards controlling the second chance points and when it counted most did not put Trey on the free throw line they got out there they had some great possessions at the end of the game great defense Two good looks by Trey Young, but they did not go. Wizards get the win in Atlanta. There was a scrappy nature about the Wizards' defense in the second half, especially in these winning moments where you're seeing the ball flying all over the place. Guys getting hands up in shot, shot, excuse me, shot makers' faces, creating mismatches on switches. Like, I liked what I saw. Again, Bradley Beal had 37. Kyle Kuzma ended up with 28. Those two doing their job leading the pack. Here's Megan McPeak courtside after the game with Kyle Kuzma defensively down the stretch. Just talk about the mindset you guys had because they were firing on everything and trying to get something to go. What was it defensively that you guys were able to get the stops? Uh, we just made key stops. Uh, we had two block, two big blocks on Trey Young in, in, the, uh, in the last minute of the game. And, um, you know, we just had to figure it out. We were down 10 at one point and just stayed resilient. And, uh, you know, Brad made some clutch shots. We made some clutch uh, defensive possessions and we got a win. 
you had a few clutch thoughts on the offensive end, but defensively, you took it to another level tonight. That block you had on Trey Young, it was almost like you were angry at him for something. Just talk about your defensive mindset. You like to know yourself as a two-way player. Yeah, I just take pride in being a two-way player. Um, you know, um, just dating back to my championship years with the Lakers, that's what it takes to be um, you know, a championship team is to have two-way players, and um, you know, that's always been my mindset. So, Congrats on the win, Kyle. Thank you. Men that are unflappable under pressure as we bring in Chris and Glenn Consort still from State Farm Arena. Guys, great in-game call. Now it's time to put our analyst hats on. Glenn, what did you see from the late push from the Wizards that gave you confidence about them returning home against the Raptors when they show up? Well, they showed physicality to close out a game, and we haven't seen that in two games in the losses to the Knicks in Chicago. But they used that physicality to get stops. Denny Advia, a sleeper in this game, had 13 rebounds. You know, everybody contributed a little in some ways. Offensive rebounds. Chris, I thought I thought DeLon Wright had an excellent yeah. game. He did all the little things. And I also, one thing that happened was Chris was showing me how <laughs> Trey Young was grabbing arms and, and shooting. No, but uh, honestly, the Wizards did a real good job. They won this game defensively. Bradley Beal yeah. had a great stop in the yep. corner from Trey Young. And that was just mono on mono, physical, used his body. That's how this team has to play. They played with a sense of urgency. I mean